especial el eh, Blenzo, pues uh -huh. el de abajo, me parece muy bacano. El de arriba. Hola. Hola. I just want to run through, so you're not able to turn off their car because it's not a cultural able, thing. I didn't want it to turn it because it's not my car. Yeah, That's it's it. culture. This is no. Colombia. The passenger won't turn off the, the driver's yeah. car, even yeah, though it's sitting here. I need to show you this. It's a Jesus sticker. Read that. You didn't mean to pollute the children, right? A simple symbol hidden in plain sight. You hold the key, turn it off at the red light. So when the car is stopped, you must turn it off. You cannot leave it running. Okay. Okay, Iraq and Afghanistan, 13-year oil war, two million people dead fighting for oil. Venezuela, hyperinflation war. <laughs> Venezuela, hyperinflation war. Thank you. If these are five if you want one. Okay, thank you. If, I mean five, I mean the five mil pesos. Uh, they're not gratis. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. And then this is the next car that sits idling the whole time. <laughs> You're waiting there, waiting there 15 minutes. Waiting there 15 minutes behind this guy who's, who hires someone to sit in the car so he won't get a ticket. And they keep the car running. And they're outside of a cafe. This is the number one cafe, Pergamino. And the cars sit idling right in front of the cafe. How good can the coffee be? Would you prefer McDonald's coffee over Pergamino if you didn't have to breathe car exhaust while you drank it? <laughs> yeah. It is Neo the Poet. I'm outside at Pergamino. That's the only busy cafe in Medellin population millions but anyway I don't know how why one becomes super popular like this and others don't so well, there's my stickers so they the security kicks the buskers off the street cars idle in front of the cafe so I'm gonna see if I get a carrot cake and a coffee every day this is the backdrop for free by telling people to turn it off and uh, that's the cafe I'll spin some rhymes out front of here but I have to get not kicked out, that's the key. If I get kicked out, I can't busk inside the cafe. I could snipe a couple while I'm having a coffee, but I got, but there's so many uh, waitresses, they catch me. I could tip out, that's another way. I could give them, if I gave them, I don't know, between 20 and 50%, they'd let me do my thing there. Anyway, um, so I gotta teach some of the uh, Venezuelans some really hardcore clear tricks we don't know what works right so I'm gonna try some new things I'm selling stickers to the people who are idling telling them turn it off and about Venezuela and they're not fast to turn it off it's very difficult I don't even I get less than half of them will turn it off so um, yeah let's see how it goes So these are some of my art pieces, uh, and this is the um, Pergamino piece here. Shocking Medellin cafe test results. You can see Pergamino in the background there. Comparing Tostado, Juan Valdez, and Pergamino, and this is the bike rack in front of it. Which cafe will fuel the revolution of love? Bike for life. This is the back side of the card. Medellin top 500 most polluted cities in the world. Super official 2020 souvenir art and free ebook. Pollinate.life. Aroma facts. Even the most perfectly roasted shade grown beans could not compete with the indelicate aroma of toxic petroleum exhaust from cars idling in front. Something stinks. It's 2020 and we don't pollute our children's bodies and minds anymore. Dead animal body parts in a bun was called a hot dog before. How do you vote on the next oil war? Iraq, Afghanistan, two million war-related deaths by census count, bullets in the head a senseless amount. Canada tar sounds is acceptable, at least a dollar amount. USA says the extraction pollution won't count. Venezuela has the world's largest oil reserves, so please buy their hungry children's heart suckers and say some nice words. All right, this is Neil the Poet, and I think this is absurd. 
but now you've got my art, my video on the street outside of Pergamino, and you all know my words. All right. You a poet shooting this from Exodo, uh, co-working free space. Thank you, Exodo. You're not a disgrace. So here's the EPM truck, and he sits out here. He's idling for like an hour. No need for him to be idling. He goes in. Like, you know, why, why sit there idling? Well, the power's out on the block, so we've got to bring a bunch of trucks out here and idle our engines, going nowhere. Your own city workers can't figure this out on a selective basis. Cops aren't going to shut down the city truck. you got no excuse. Hey, but it's an American Sign Language 7. If you're deaf, you knew what I was going to say. World Trade Center 1 hit by a plane. World Tr Trade Center 2 hit by a plane. World Trade Center 7 not hit by a plane, but it falls just the same. Now, it's only a coincidence. The evil Iraqi president they executed two years before bears the same name as Osama. I mean, Obama. Obama. <clears throat> yeah, uh, some people say it's insane. Now, I'm the poet who's unplugged from the collective insane. They said they never invite me back again. And it's my name, Neil Freeman Hussein. <laughs>